All right, guys, it is time. The KTM is gonna get the, the rebuild. Here we go. So, it's about to start ordering parts because in a few months, we're going to Sand Mountain. So, you know, gotta get the bike ready. A few months from when this video started, not when the video is posted because it's gonna take a while. I haven't ordered anything yet, but pretty much I need new O-rings for the exhaust. Needs a top end, needs a jetting kit. And then I'm gonna also buy a uh, bar bag for up here. So, you know, I can record more YouTube videos while riding. So I'm gonna start, pretty much start working on this bike so we can get this ready for Sand Mountain. Am I even in frame? Oh my God, I might not even be in frame. <laughs> oh, it just broke. Uh, I gotta clean up this whole area. We're having people redo the fence. So I'm just gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna take everything out of here real quick, and then we'll get back onto the KTM. Probably start taking it apart today, or cleaning it, or doing something. So yeah, pretty much. I was just gonna do a little bit of a time lapse of me cleaning this area up. <laughs> Real quickly guys these are the limited edition jl custom stickers they're only gonna be 35 of them for sale and obviously this is one of them so i'm gonna put on the bike that this is actually designed off of if you guys want to show your og to the channel before we truly get big this is the way to do it boom so yeah we're gonna throw that on and i'll show you when it's done Boom, got all the stickers up in line. The crease I gotta get out. Yeah, I gotta get that out and yeah, continue moving the bikes. <laughs> So pretty much gonna take everything off of this, take this um, tarp, put it down over there, start putting the bikes on the tarp, take the, the Yamaha, this Yamaha, not the TTR, the uh, CT1 and the MXC, the KTM, take those out front, both wash those bikes and start working on either or probably both. But this video will be the KTM, obviously. <sighs> A lot of words. <laughs> But yeah, my goal, honestly, is get this thing up and ready for... I mean, it runs, but I'm, I want to do some work to it and get it ready for uh, this weekend. Do some, do a good test ride this weekend and be ready for, uh, what's it called, uh, Sand Mountain. And it's, it's, it's like October 15th right now, so like I'm way ahead. But I'd rather start early than late or never at all. <laughs> but yeah, um, pretty much just going to get started in all this stuff, so boom okay so i'm just slowly moving stuff over i'm honestly what are you eating what do you hey what is that hey gross hey is that taco <laughs> got the taco bell taco wrapper that ain't food though that's the wrapper Okay, so I'm trying to get all this oil off, like this uh, on the exhaust. Uh, this side was really bad, but like you weren't even able to read the KTM, but now it's gone. Just using some degreaser. Pretty much gonna start taking apart the bike and continue getting deep into this thing. So I'm gonna put you up on the stand. <laughs>
It's a lot cleaner. I mean, obviously it's not perfect. Eh, obviously it's not perfect, but I will take it. All right, here we go. Another one of the things I'm gonna be doing is this Tusk Hour Meter. Just gonna be putting it on wherever, wherever I can. I guess like around there. <sighs> I should probably put the tank back on first. Find an area that fits, but yeah. So I can keep better track of this thing. Yeah, probably the other side. <laughs> there perfect spot <laughs> all right it's the next day ended up going to the skate park when i was literally about to work on this so now i'm gonna move everything to the other side <laughs> all right here we are so far majority of this stuff's gone um i don't know if i told you guys but the reason i'm moving everything out right now is so then we have people who are gonna redo our whole fence so um you know i'm just clearing it all out so it's you know they can work on it but um yeah once i put everything back i'm gonna you know sweep this up pressure wash this make it all nice throw the tarp down possibly even put a tarp up so then we have like kind of like a a shed from tarp and uh you know make it a little bit easier to work on stuff i guess and make it stay protected but yeah, so I'm just going to keep putting that stuff away, throwing stuff away, and just clean this area up. And this is why the bikes are moved. You know, where's the fence, Lou? out brand new fence all around the side not in the back but on this whole side it's looking nice poured new concrete here so i'm gonna blow all this and clean all this up and then we'll put the bikes back possibly do a tarp possibly see if the uh neighbor will rent out her garage and we'll get there all right so the last time you guys saw the bike it ran but it was leaking a lot of gas um <laughs> um my buddy and i the other day were messing with it all right so i adjusted the float on this guy and then now it won't start so i'm gonna have to figure what's up with this thing um i'm hoping it's just gas breath because we're we're lowest it's ever been so let's just do some two-stroke stuff here 
put some oil and boom it, 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 it'll start hopefully Why are you whining, bro? What? What? <laughs> Why are you punching me, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> It's hard to work in this 40 something degree weather. <laughs> Maybe one more time and then do the other half. <laughs> Cross my fingers that the bike will start or else I'm going to have to take, uh, I might see if the uh, spark plug, anything happened to the El Sparko plug -o. And also, it's so cold that I got to use pliers to turn my gas on. Oh my God. <laughs> Taking it back apart. <laughs> All right, so uh, checked for spark. We have spark. Cleaned off the tip a little bit. Gonna set it back in there. Adjust the float a little more and just hope that it all works. It's got no exhaust. <laughs> I hope you guys saw that on camera. Oh my god. But anyways, this is part 376 of trying to get the bike started. So, trying to cross my fingers and gloves. Let's see. Is it still pissing, bro? Yeah. Damn, bro, it's hella gas. Be a horizon in the light, my friend.
how dust it them out. just died. Mr. No Kickstand. I know. So yeah, still leaking gas. Alright, I gotta turn this uh this off. How'd you kill it? Just stall it? I uh dropped the clutch. Yeah. I can't see anything. Do you have hold on? Here. Oh, Monet texting me. Oh, that she's off. Sideways. That's on. on. Off. That's off? Yeah. <laughs> 